For our final type of equation of a line, we have the point-slope equation. So we can use this when we're given the slope and any point on the line, say x1, y1. Then our equation is of the form y minus y1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x1. Now note here, we're one step away from slope-intercept form. All we need to do is isolate the y and then just expand. Now, to tie all of our equations together, let's start off with the slope equation. So if the slope is equal to the rise over the run, okay, so if we're given any two points in the line, we have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If I clear out the denominator, we get the equation y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. If we erase the twos, then what comes out is the point-slope equation of our line. Now, if I know the y-intercept, okay, this point 0b, then that has to satisfy this equation. So I put that in for x1 and y1, and what comes out is y equals mx plus b, and that's our slope-intercept form. So we see how our equations just come out of the slope equation. Now, let's just run this through our problems from before. So for instance, let's see how I would get our point-slope equation from two points, say from the standard form. Then we'll put that in slope-intercept form. Now, we have this equation here in standard form, x plus 2y is equal to 4. So rather than going for the intercepts, let's just pick x equals 2, x equals 4, see what comes out. So when x is equal to 2, okay, we solve for y, we get y equals 1, so we have the point 2, 1. When x is equal to 4, okay, we solve, we get y equals 0, and we get 4, 0. Okay, note here we have y equals 0, so I found the x-intercept. Now, I could use these two points to get the slope. So we'll take, okay, we're going to do rise over run, so change in y over change in x. That gives me 1 minus 0 over 2 minus 4, so we have minus a half for the slope. Then I need one more point to use our point-slope equation. Okay, so we write down point-slope equation and then fill in the items. Our slope is minus a half. If I use our first point, okay, that's going to be x1 equals 2, y1 is equal to 1. And here's our equation in point-slope form using this point. Now, if we isolate the y and expand, what happens? Well, we have on this side, I push through the minus a half, so I have a minus a half x, then minus a half and minus two becomes a one. I push this minus one to the other side and we get y equals minus a half x plus two. That's our slope intercept form. Okay, we already knew the slope was minus a half, but now I also know the y intercept is gonna be 0 0.0 comma two. Okay, and then we could just check that up through there. Now, to check our work, Okay, we expect to get the same answer if we use the other point. So we'll have a different point-slope equation, but it should go to the same slope-intercept equation. So let's try 4, 0. So x1 is equal to 4, y1 is equal to 0. I have y minus 0 equals minus a half, quantity x minus 4. If we isolate the y, okay, the 0 is just going to go away, so that's already there. I just need to expand the other side. So we push through the minus a half, get minus a half x, and then plus two. And we see the slope intercept form agrees with what we had from the other point slope equation. So that'll check our work. Let's repeat our problems from last time using the point slope equation. So here, we get the same answers, just with a slightly different method. For instance, if I want the line that's parallel to the line y equals minus three x plus two, through the point one, one, Note, we have a slope and a point, so we can go directly to the point-slope equation to get our new line. So we write that down immediately. y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Now, parallel to y equal to minus 3x plus 2, that means they have the same slope, so m is equal to minus 3. I want this line to go through the point 1, 1, so I can use that for x1 and y1. Now, we plug each of these values into our equation, we get y minus 1 equals minus 3 times quantity x minus 1. And that's our answer if we're only asked to put it in point-slope form. 
and we want slope intercept form, we just take this one more step. So what do we do? I want to isolate y. So the first thing I need to do is to multiply the minus 3 through the parentheses. We get minus 3x plus 3. Then I'll push the minus 1 to the other side as a 1. So I get y equal to minus 3x plus 4. That agrees with our answer from last time. Next, okay, we have the same problem, except instead of parallel, we use perpendicular. We'll be able to get the slope, and we have a point, so we immediately write down the point slope form of the equation. y minus y1 equals m times quantity x minus x1. Now, because we have perpendicular, okay, here we have slope equal to minus 3. The product of the slopes has to be equal to minus 1, so we get the slope equal to 1 third here. We note that we have the point 1, 1, so we could plug these values into our equation. We'll have y minus 1 equal to 1 third x minus 1. So that would be the answer if they only ask for point slope form. If they want slope intercept form, we do one more step. So what we'll do is we distribute the 1 third to get 1 third x minus 1 third. I move the minus 1 to the other side as a 1. We get y equal to 1 third x plus 2 thirds. That agrees with our answer from last time. Finally, let's find the equation of the line through 1 minus 1 and 3, 3. Now here we don't have the slope or the intercept. So we have two points to get to the slope, and then I could use either point to use point-slope form of the equation. Now, I'll write this down immediately. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. I want to get the slope first. So that's rise over run. Take the difference in y's over the difference in the x's. So I have 3 minus a minus 1. 3 minus 1. That gives me a slope of 2. Put that into our equation. And then I could use either point to find the rest. So the point slope form using 3, 3. What do we get? Well, y minus 3 equals 2 x minus 3. OK, we could stop there if all we're asked for is point slope. Otherwise, OK, we push the 2 through. Then I push the 3 to the other side. So we get y equal to 2x minus 3, as we had before. Note, if I wanted to check my work, I take the other point, put it into the equation to see that it holds. So we'd have minus 1 equal to 2 times 1 minus 3. That's a true statement. So both of these points are on our line, so our equation checks out. I could use the point 1 comma minus 1 in our point slope equation. We should get the same answer when we go to slope intercept form. So let's try that. So I have y minus a minus 1 equals 2 times quantity x minus 1. So cleaning things up, I have y plus 1 equals 2x minus 2. We push the 1 to the other side as a minus 1. I get y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, So that agrees with this. And if we check our other point, 3, 3, I have 3 equal to 2 times 3 minus 3. It's a true statement, so that checks our work.